Hey everybody, it is, I don't know what day it is, October 14th, 15th. We are going to get our first frost tomorrow night probably, maybe tonight, but most likely tomorrow. Um, because of that, I'm going to do my final harvest in my summer garden. And it's October, so this has been a weird season. Um, we still have plenty of tomatoes. We have peppers going. That's pretty late for peppers and tomatoes, in my opinion. I have a few more things growing, but I'm going to harvest everything in case a frost comes because I don't want my crops to get ruined. Um, I'm not doing a fall garden this year, really. Uh, just working on other projects, which I think that's important. You don't have to do everything all the time. Um, I also got some loofah that have been drying out. It looks like at least one of those is nice and dry. I harvested one um, maybe a week ago, did a little video on it. But let's go into our little garden and do our final harvest before the frost gets here. Two nice tomatoes to eat. Let's see, I bet we can find some more tomatoes. Nice red-ish tomato. We can bring it inside and uh, hopefully it'll ripen inside. And again, I did not do a great job of trellising my tomatoes this year. I lost some tomatoes, but that's okay. Here's some more. This is a nice variety of tomato. I don't know what it is. I forget, but it's a yellow tomato. I really like these tomatoes on sandwiches. It's a nice color. So these babies are definitely ripe, but as you can see, there are plenty of tomatoes that are still green. If I get time, I'm gonna harvest those and make some uh, salsa verde probably. Here's most definitely, I would say, the end of my peppers. Um, even though my garden's pretty weedy this year, which, you know what, that's one of my struggles, is overcoming a weedy garden. It seems like I have more weeds in my garden than in my yard. But this is a good pepper harvest for October. I'll take it. So here's the last of my okra. Um... I can harvest some of this, but some of this I purposely have let grow long so that I can uh, harvest seeds for next year. Uh, and they dry out pretty nicely. These are seeds that save themselves. Um, but I have a few okra I can still harvest, so I'm gonna pick the few I got. Here's uh, some Swiss chard that will actually last through the frost, but I'm gonna harvest a little bit for dinner tonight. Um, Swiss chard is one of the few greens I've grown this year, besides a little bit of spinach here. Is this pepper worth harvesting? Well, yeah, we're gonna try it. Um, it's October. There's some little peppers here left. Uh, but I'm gonna leave those little ones. The nice thing is, at the end of the season officially, I um, let my pigs in my garden and they clean everything up for me. So any leftover food like this is going to be pig food. So uh, nothing goes to waste in the end. Nothing goes to waste. So my bees, um, I did get a small harvest this year. I got 23 pounds of honey. Not enough to really sell, but enough for my family, enough for gifts. Um, I guess enough to barter. Uh, my hives are more or less closed down. Um, I am going to add a quilt box, which if you don't know what a quilt box is, it's a way to wick moisture away from the inside of the hive. Um, and I do need to add some bee candy. Um, it is going to be cold tomorrow, but I don't think that's really going to affect my bees so much tomorrow. 
but I do need to do a little more winter prep for them. You don't see any bees coming out. I'm sitting right next to the beehive because I know it's so cold, they're not gonna come out. Um, I also have closed my hive down with the entrance reducer. There's just a very small entrance here, if you can see it, and that's so that it's easier for them to protect their hive from any intruders. Um, we're still supposed to get some warm weather next week um, in the 70s and 80s, but the next couple days it's going to be lows of 30s. So my bees are going to be pretty much isolated to the hive, just trying to stay warm and uh, hopefully keep that queen alive. That's a few more oh, red tomatoes left. These are some of my favorites, These little red cherry tomatoes. Let's see if I can get that one and this one. Ooh, that's a nice red one. I eat half of my tomatoes that I pick, so they don't even get to the kitchen. Um, the last thing I'm going to harvest before the frost here are my loofahs. Now, if you can look, there's actual flowers still blooming, and it's a very beautiful flower. Some of these are ready to harvest, some of them aren't. But I am going to go ahead and harvest all of them because... I do not want them to freeze. So this loofah is still pretty heavy, but I'm gonna bring it inside and let it dry out. So, so notice how that one swings. And then let me show you this one. This one is completely dry. And you can hear that it's dry, I think. So this is a completely dry loofah, nice and black, um, super, super light as opposed to this one, smaller, but see how it has so much water in it that um, it is not ready to harvest. But I may harvest these just so um, they don't get um, messed up by the frost. Uh, or I don't know, maybe I'll keep them tonight and see what happens. But this one is ready to harvest. This one not ready to harvest so like i said we got our first frost coming um might be 36 tonight 36 tomorrow maybe even colder um actually where where we live it's probably gonna be colder um we live at about 3,000 feet in the mountains of north carolina so i just showed you my garden that we harvested a little bit we basically got the last of our ripe tomatoes, the last of our peppers. We checked out the loofahs. Some other things we're doing, our pet pigs are inside the barn for the winter. Our horses, some of them are wearing horse blankets. It's gonna be really hard to show them to you today because they're way up in the pasture. But one of our horses is my daughter's pony. She's doing a competition. Um, we had the horse's, um, coat basically trimmed by a professional. This lady came out and trimmed his winter coat. Um, it'll grow back, but the reason he had to have his, his, uh, fur trimmed, his hair trimmed is that, um, he's going to be doing a big race with my daughter. We want to make sure that he stays nice and cool. He doesn't overheat. But because of that, we have to put a horse blanket on him until he grows his, uh, his coat back. Um, so that's something we have to do in the wintertime. We have to make sure we have plenty of hay. We have firewood. I have an okay amount of firewood chopped. Um, I still got plenty more that I need to chop. So we're getting ready for the first frost. I would love to hear what the weather is doing in your location. Have you had snow yet? Do you even get snow? Just leave a comment below and tell me how the weather is in your neck of your woods, okay? Till next time.